Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today I'm checking out Biota. Uh, this is a recently released uh, lo-fi Metroidvania. Got a old school aesthetic, you can even change the palette here. Gemini, Wave, Grayscale, 90s. Oh geez, some of these are eye-searingly good. Mercury, Venus, Camo, Saturn, Orion, Acid. Jeez, a bit more than I expected to start, that's for sure. Um, trying to think of what would be the easiest, the le least amount of eye searing here. I kind of like wave, to be honest. Let's go with wave for a little bit. Uh, I got an achievement for that, actually. Uh, there's a bear options menu here. You can change the CRT level, which is interesting, but we'll turn that off just for clarity sake you can also turn up or down screen shake turn it off completely as well as change the color rendering i changed it to hi-fi i don't quite know what that means uh but we'll find out i guess so got the controls here doesn't look like you can bind them necessarily which is a bit unfortunate but it is what it is let's give it a go though play a new save so as i mentioned this is a, a metroidvania it has a bit of a story going on you don't have much time the asteroid is approaching the black hole too fast god damn my teleporter is damaged was damaged in the in the clash but there should be an elevator just ahead we won't take off without you but you have to hurry the lower crest has already started to crumble i'm coming save a couple beers for me over and out okay uh, there was a an intro cinematic cutscene that was fully voice acted. Um, oh, I pressed triangle and went to the map. We are playing as Tetsuo, it seems. Uh, had some interesting voice acting explaining the story of the game so far. I won't necessarily relay that back to you, but it does seem like it's got a, a bit going on. So we can shoot up as well. Oh, that's an enemy right there. So I have a feeling... <laughs> Immediately, this is going to be a, a, a hard game to read sometimes because there's only the four colors we got going on here. So it's going to be difficult to see as to what's actually an enemy or not. We can press the right button to the right face button to do our special weapon, which appears to be some sort of laser. Uh, we can climb. Okay. Got a Super Meat Boy style jumps. What happens if we go over here? Okay. Oh, those are damaging us. Probably don't want to do what I just did, but I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's fine, probably. Probably not on a timer, even though they are implying we are. Alternate leap. Oh, so it's saying wall jumping. Hmm, this is a bit odd. Can I not just do that the whole time? Why would I not just do that? Seems like... Once you reach a certain fall speed, you cannot wall jump out of it. Uh, as if you fall too fast, then you're just going to continually fall. Not quite sure what we're picking up out of these dudes. It appears to be counted at the top of the, the UI there. I can press up to interact with this button, and I guess we're going to fall down here. Maybe fight a boss? No, not quite yet. Again, I'm like have my uh, tendency to look for secrets in a Metroidvania game. It's telling us to go down. I feel like this is probably just a tutorial section, so there's not going to be any real secrets here. I don't think we're part of the main game necessarily. It seems like we're like launching some sort of missiles, which is cool. Down to jump off. What is, what is that supposed to imply? I'm, try I'm pressing down to jump off. Oh, it's saying uh, on this little platform here, you can press down to fall through. Okay. So we only have the two guns so far, and the first gun seems to be doing a lot of work, but <laughs> that special gun also did quite a bit of work there. I can't tell if this thing below us is going to be an enemy or not. Apparently those are bombs. That's another thing about this game, it's, it's, it's definitely, I can already tell, it's going to be hard to read what's going on. Once you play a little bit, though, it'll be less of an issue. Um, I guess that's what the, these 
exclamation point signs were indicating is maybe you don't specimen collected plus new pallet unlocked Ooh, can we just change that right now is that gonna be all the way at the end apologies but i gotta know earth okay i think that might be the the new pallet probably don't step on the landmines i guess Got some screen shake going on as stuff explodes in the distance. Lightning strikes. Save at any time by pressing start. Is that the, or is it select? Oh, you can just press select, okay. Good to know. All right, are we gonna have an encounter here? Looks like we are. Did it die immediately? I just shot it once. Oh, this is an elevator. Again, it's really hard to tell what's going on with this game. That's gonna be an issue with, uh... I guess this is a 4-bit style game? 8-bit style game? A few hours earlier. So, I guess we're a part of, like, a mercenary team investigating what happened on a distant asteroid. Ship Pegasus to ground control. Repeat Ship Pegasus to ground control. Do you copy Gemini 2 squad reporting ready for Operation Getaway? We can skip the whole cutscene if we want. Ground control to Gemini 2 squad. We hear you with some interference. What's your position? We are approaching asteroid frontier horizon. Contact expected at 1261.43 at preset coordinates. Mission diary updated. Next communication during re-entry phase. Starting radio silence. Remember, Gemini 2, failure is not an option. Over and out. Stupid white collars. They wouldn't be so brash if their asses were in the middle of nowhere. Okay, crew, hold on tight. There could be some jolts during landing. This appears to be a captain of sorts. It does seem like uh, there are multiple characters in this squad, and you likely can play as multiple characters as well. All right, we have a shitty asteroid in our hands here. The agent, this unknown virus, fungus, or whatever, is causing uncontrolled mutation throughout the ecosystem, so keep your triggers ready. Remember to pick up the teleporter and use it with, I guess, the triangle button? Or M key if you need to return to the base in case of emergency. For example, if you need the robotic medical kit. A little further on, there is the gate to the mining complex a few survivors have gathered at the foot of the mountain. They might be a little nuts due to isolation and perhaps the beginning of contamination, but you never know, maybe they can offer something useful. Captain, could the agent be dangerous for us too? I have no idea, but try to bring your asses back safe and sound. You're more useful as you are instead of turn into some thin slimy creatures all right all right the priority now is to save jade front jade fournier a key member of the scientific expedition orion she sent an sos so i trust she's still alive somewhere in the depths of this damned asteroid if you don't feel ready you can practice in our virtual training module i expect no less than 100 percent from you now move hut 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 okay it appears we're playing as uh the guy with the mohawk uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be... Oh. oh, you can swap the character immediately, so we can play as the Stalker. Zed, I guess is his name. He comes with a, a shotgun and a shield. We got Ace, the veteran. Uh, Nation USA. Nation Mars for Zed. That's cool. Um, he's got a hand bomb and a machine gun. Then we got Flint the Raider. He's got a precision rifle who's from Brazil. The sniper shot skill. Let's try Zed with the shotgun. And who are we playing as? We're playing as Kirill, the mutant, who's from the CCP. CCCP, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Can we go in the ship again? Doesn't look like it. What about this? Is this the training unit? It appears to be some sort of training facility. We don't necessarily need to mess with that. We can heal at this biomedical unit. You don't need medical care right now. Got the teleporter. Uh, I don't know what, what's flashing below. We can teleport to the base. I imagine that's where we're at right now. Game saved by picking up the floppy disk. Got the elevator right there. Since this infestation broke out, no one has been looking after the reactor that powers the entire asteroid. If the temperature gets out of control, a disaster could happen at any moment. We got a black market here. 
On the orders of Orion team, we've sealed off the sectors of the asteroid where there was more biological hazard activity. The first one in the mechanized extraction area to the east with the second in the control tower. The third is in the collection tanks where the reactor cooling waters are conveyed. And the fourth is in the depths of the satellite asteroid. We've lost many men sealing those areas. I myself am miraculously alive, but I have not felt well for weeks now. I don't believe this agent story. I've heard that V Corp is hiding something from us. That's all he has to say about that. What about you? We're gonna die! Seem like some fun fellows. We got black market, full ammo refill. Uh, nanotech injection. Each one increases life by one point. Okay, we got HP upgrades. Ammo case. Each one increases the max ammo for all special weapons. Combat drone for Zed. Armed with a machine gun and a self-destruct button. That's interesting. Uh, we can only carry $100, it looks like. And we need six more to be able to afford the combat drone. Guess we're going in the elevator. So we're at the top of the asteroid. And we can just go straight to the ventilation tunnels. Let's check the map now. Oops, I tried to save by pressing select. How do we check the map? Triangle button. Okay, so it actually shows uh, an outline of the map already. So we can see where we will theoretically go in the future. It's unlike most Metroidvania games. Uh, now we have that 80 that we might have needed for that thing. So let's go back up the elevator since it seems to be uh, rather quick. Go back to the black market. Buy this combat drone for Zed. Zed has a new special weapon. So how do we switch between that? Oh. <laughs> okay, so once we have the shield on, we can actually just run into things and cause it to explode. Pressing all sorts of buttons and nothing else seemed to go off. Alright. It does feel alright for, uh what it is so far like the platforming feels all right aside from that little bit of weirdness when i first tried to do wall jumps again i think it is uh all about your fall speed as to whether or not you would be able to wall jump up stuff saying warning radioactive below probably don't want to jump into that spinning turbine shotgun seems pretty effective although not uh a lot of range to it. We did get hurt there. Oh, because it spits. Whatever this creature is, it's spitting at us. We got a save point to our right that we cannot access. Looks like we're going up. Don't know if the steam can hurt us. Oh, I tried to... Okay. <laughs> tried to use the, the shield. Ended up using the drone. Oh, we control the drone. And we can just shoot with it. And then we press the same button to explode it. Okay. Bit of a waste. Definitely don't feel the most comfortable with these controls just yet. It does seem like I was shooting a lot for even though I was tapping a little bit. If you hold it, you can just keep shooting. Oh, I just jumped into a turbine. <laughs> and that's the end of Zed's story, I guess. We uh, spawned up top. I don't know if we even have- we, we didn't save, so we don't have our combat drone again. That's unfortunate. Uh, am I gonna go back up and get the drone? It appears that that's what I'm gonna do. Apologies, bear with me for a moment. Did I just buy it? No, I did not. <laughs> buy the drone. I'm just trying to figure out how to switch between the drone and my other ability. I do like the shield that you can just run into enemies. Let's go left this time. Try not to die to a turbine, perhaps. Use my shield. For no real reason other than we can. <laughs> We'll see what kind of damage we can do here now. Get all the monies. Oh, I don't step in this thing. 
warning. Okay, I wanted to see where it would land. Again, it's hard to tell what's gonna be a real platform here or not. We got a turbine to our left. Probably don't want to walk into that one. Or jump into that one. <laughs> I almost did too. I don't know if we can drop through these platforms. I imagine no. Doesn't look like it. I'm pressing down. So far, these creatures aren't the most deadly of enemies thus far. Looks like we can go to the left or theoretically down. Just want to see what's over on the left. More enemies. What happens if we go down? They're going to be like secret walls. Can we just fall down here? We can just fall down here. So where are we on the map? We probably should just save. Do a lot of... Oh, we cannot save. I'm going to say a lot of quick saves. Nope. Speaking of saving. Feels like... um. Yeah, so... When I jumped off, when I did the wall jump off this little corner, I let go of holding right, and it continued the momentum of me going right. So, that's interesting. Doesn't seem like that's like... Because you can just like change your direction in the air any other time, so I don't know. Don't know what's going on with that. We got a new item. I don't know how we can inspect that. Oh, right here. Airtight container. Each one increases the max Viridian pieces you can carry by 100. Oh, so we're picking up Viridian. Which is the special currency of this future uh, timeline. Oh, I didn't mean to walk backwards, but that's what happened. Here's these creatures are maybe made out of Viridian. Which is what B Corp was mining. You may have heard the NPC say that earlier. Back at the camp. Know which direction we should be going let's check the map again we could go back and up i actually kind of want to do that so we're gonna go back this way and by back this way i mean oh my gosh <laughs> i'm gonna run into them with my shield powers seems like there's um geez it, these wall jumps are rather difficult i'd rather do like a triangle jump super meat boy style than actually do wall jumping Um, but yeah, it seems like there's momentum, especially when you uh, use the shield power and run into enemies, you get bounced backwards, so it's something to keep in mind. Doesn't seem like the steam hurts us, thankfully, because everything else in this dang game is hurting us so far. up that Viridian. We're almost at our uh, cap of our wallet. Oh, I almost walked into that because of the wall jump momentum that I am not expecting. I don't know if those barrels can hurt us when they explode. It doesn't seem like it. Or maybe they are and I'm just not paying attention enough to my health. Are we back to the start of the game, kind of? We are. Okay. I was hoping to find a boss or something, but I guess I just went backwards. So I guess we're continuing this path, and hopefully we're not going to die to the turbine again. So we are capped on Viridian. Let's go down this time. It's telling us to go up, though. Probably don't want to go to the left, so we're gonna go back up this way. I guess the benefit of being Captain Viridian is now I don't have to go pick up every little piece that we see. Again, most of these enemies are not threats, it's just that one that, that uh, just spit on us. I guess these flying bug creatures are kind of a threat too, and also we just got hit by the one that drops from the ceiling, so maybe I shouldn't be talking. So this is where we died last time. This is a rather tr tricky room. I wonder if I can pull up my drone. This seems to be the same button as my shield, so I don't know why we would 
use one over the other. I don't know how to. Oh, I'm pressing... Okay, okay, you press right bumper. And then you can switch between the drone and the shield. Okay, this seems like it's going to be a rather tricky platforming section. Don't want to screw it up. That said, I did it immediately with just two jumps. Okay, just jump up the dang wall. Let's go see what's in this room. Uh, a black market. And we found a secret here. A specimen collected with a new palette. Let's go see this new palette. Eerie light. Well, I kind of like this. Full ammo refill. Armor piercing tech increases the max damage for all standard weapons. Ooh, that seems good. Although, we are, like, destroying everything in one shot, so... Who knows how good that actually will be. We are pretty hurt. We can't shoot down, in fact, even when we're jumping. I just want to encounter a boss. Surely, bosses exist. In this Metroidvania game? Jeez. I just walked into that thing and died horribly. Where are we? All the way at the bottom. So I guess we're not gonna go up this time. We're gonna go... Where else can we even go? I guess we can go left. What was this bottle again? Was it like more HP? I guess we'll go see if we can get it. Oh, it was more, uh, it was a bigger wallet. Alright, that's unfortunate, dying like that. It is what it is, though. I can't even blame the momentum or anything on that one, it was just... Me walking into... Whatever that jet of death is. Can't tell if that's an enemy or not. Let's send out the drone, seems wise. <laughs> that sucked. Send up the drone, and we still got hurt. And we got pushed out of the screen. I had a feeling that was about to happen. Zeke? Is it Zeke? I think it's Zeke. Zeke's melee weapon is a rather shotgun weapon. It's rather difficult. Again, that momentum off the wall jump got me damaged again. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just, it's, it's not something that's been in many other games, so it's not something I'm thinking of at all. Okay, we blew up the canister. Didn't get blasted back. Surely there's a boss up ahead. Oh my gosh. Just jumping into enemies once again. Let's not jump into this thing. Is that a feeling that would be what happened there? This is a tricky situation, because once again... Once you start while jumping, you cannot stop because the moment you get some downward momentum, you slide. So you can actually cancel your, moment your momentum out of a, a triangle jump, but you have to be deliberate in it. If you, if you let go of the, the D-pad, you continue in the direction you're going. I don't know if I want to do this platforming, but we're doing it. I definitely don't want to do this platforming. Where is this even leading to? To the path that we kind of already went. Oh my gosh, okay. Don't... Don't fall into the turbines again. I'm pretty good at that one. Jeez. A lot of rooms, but not a lot going on. Just lots of enemies and death traps. I had a feeling this one was going to kill us if we just kept walking forward. What is this? We got a doorway here. Could be in a radioactive room of sorts. Since the staff were decimated, the reactor's temperature has become critical. I advise you not to go beyond the security door. Is there really no way to sneak into the reactor and shut it down? The only way would be using a robot between the agent-controlled armored guards and the strong radiation. It won't be easy to get through that hell. Is this guy shooting at us? Here so. Behind this gate is the reactor. The radiation is too high. Only a robotic unit would have chance of going through there and shutting the power down. So what, we're just gonna die if we go through there? Is 
that was an enemy. I don't like that I found an area and I'm immediately told to go back. That's unfortunate. Can I get out of here? Okay, so this is a whole new section of the map. Uh, how do I use this teleporter? Teleport to base. Okay, so we're back. We can even heal up right here. We did not get that wallet upgrade, it seems. So we're back at 100. Let's see if we can buy anything. This will buy an HP upgrade. Seems wise. Uh, and then we can go right to the nuclear plant if we want. Alright. So let's go right this time. We did last time as well. I guess we're going to go right and up. Which I think was the path that we were going in the first place. I almost got blasted into the jet. I would have been pretty disappointed if that's how that went down. I'm going to kind of push forward rather than deal with every little creature. There's also a bit of a delay on your attack. I'm not sure what causes that. One way or the other. It might be wise to use our drone a little bit more often. Look right here. I don't know if we have to. It seems like we have to make it explode. It also just dies to the turbines as expected. Okay. Again, you get a little bit of downward momentum and all of a sudden you can't wall jump at all. Back over here. Got our specimen. I'm gonna say, do we did we keep the it looks like we keep the pallet, but we don't necessarily keep the specimen. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, when we die, of course. But I mean, that's pretty much a Metroidvania in general. Of course, when you die, go back to your previous save spot. At least this game seems a little more uh, lenient. Oh, I almost died in the same exact spot. Uh, this game seems a little more lenient when it comes to uh, save spots, speaking of. Especially because you can just teleport out, theoretically, at various sections. Please, Biota, I just want to fight a boss. There's a specimen below. Pallet unlocked. Let's go see what that is. Storm it looks very similar, just a bit darker. In fact, I don't like how this looks. It's a little harder for me to see. Hopefully this isn't too hard for you to see. I almost died to the jet once again. What else is new? <gasps> oh, okay, we did not die. We took like full damage, but we did not die. Okay, we need to play it very carefully now. Find ourselves at another location. We have- we do have a drone. I'm just gonna use the drone and play it as safe as possible. Let's also test my theory as to whether these Viridian things disappear. Doesn't look like it. Found ourselves at a safe spot. And now we're in a new section, I guess. Do bosses not exist in this game? Surely we have to encounter at least one by now. A new gate has been found. So does this just lead back up? It does. Okay. Well, at least we're getting fast travel opportunities. More than anything. I'm just gonna jump up here. And I didn't really see anything. Probably don't want to step <laughs> in the the pool. Okay, we're gonna play a bit more. I do want to end this video kind of soon, but as I keep mentioning, I won't also want to fight a dang boss that would be swell we should go back up and heal I guess because it's gonna keep starting us at uh, zero HP basically so that's unfortunate um, 
So I guess I'm gonna go back up and heal. Kinda sucks that I didn't get that Viridium upgrade, because I don't really want to go back there and get it, to be honest. It may sound like I'm not having the best time with this game, but it's more so... I guess I have some expectations that are not being met, particularly in the boss department. Um, because I'm playing this purely to check it out for the channel, rather than just playing it for myself. If I was playing it for myself, I would definitely be taking a bit more time and be more lenient with what we're encountering here. Um, because when it comes to Metroidvania games, I'm very much the type of player to want to explore everything. I love to 100% various Metroidvanias, except for Hollow Knight, because that game is pain in the butt to 100%. I'm even going to go so far as to say impossible, particularly with some of the free DLC packs that they have. All right, we require 350. An advanced droid soldier that's equipped with artificial intelligence and an emotion simulator. So this is like a new character, it looks like. So this might be what we need in order to go to that radioactive section. We need to first get enough wallet upgrades to be able to afford 350 viridium. And then get said 350 viridium by that character. And then maybe we can switch to them back at the main base. You can also switch to other characters, but honestly, I'm pretty content with how this guy plays so far, even if he has a lack of range. I do like me some shotguns. Continue moving forward. We're at full Viridium now. I think we've been there for a little bit, actually. Doesn't look like there's any reason to go up here. There are some eyeball creatures up there. What's to the right? Save unit and uh, person asking for help. I'm gonna test this theory of mine. Yep, that killed us right dead. Which is why I touched the safe station before I did that. Let's go see up here. Um. gonna hurt us. Go up here. So I'm continually going up here. Taking dumb damage, but at this point I'm in full exploration mode. Just want to uncover the map as fast as possible. This is not how you should be playing Metroidvanias probably. Got some Froggy creatures remind me of mermen from Castlevania games. Oh, I'm falling down here. Oh, okay, it looks like I did cancel my downward momentum with a jump there. There appears to be a hidden path to the right. I just died. I deserve that. I deserve that. Okay, where the heck are we? I want to see that hidden path now. And we didn't even go this way, did we? Actually, we kind of did. We ended up in this merman room. Okay, we got hurt there. Well, this time we fell. It does feel like a lot of these rooms are, uh... How do I put this? Like, I kind of want to say the word unnecessary. That's definitely not, but... There's not a lot going on in a lot of these rooms. There's, like, I'm probably missing secrets. Oh my gosh. Like, almost certainly missing some secrets found ourselves with a viridium upgrade thankfully but yeah there's just a lot of traversal with not a lot going on same like five enemy types over and over i guess that's not true these these enemies are unique to this biome <sighs> i just want like a big action sequence or something. We're doing a lot of exploration and not a lot's happening otherwise. You need a level one key. Jeez, I really just went to the other side of this dang screen. We got a merchant. Uh, that merchant icon is displaying the character that we can unlock. Well then. 
unfortunately, I feel like I might have to end the video here. Let's go back. Heal up. I just want to see what the other character's guns are. So we got the rifle. It's got a bit of a, a delayed projectile, maybe. Not really. What about this? Oh, the machine gun. Doesn't have the most range. And then the, the character we started with, which has just a normal pistol. What do they call that? Specialty is C4. It's got a thermic gun. Zed was the name. I was calling him Zeke. Let's see what this training room's all about real quick. It's timing us. <laughs> this guy said something. In like our, uh... Dude was pleased with the grenade throw or something. Thought for sure we'd be going down. I guess we're going up. Seems like every time we take out a unit, minus is a second. Okay. <laughs> Blow up a mine, take damage. Oh my gosh. All right. That's officially the end of the video. Why does it say 1%? Does it have to recharge? Simulation charging. Okay. So you can't just keep trying. I wonder if it's randomly generated, procedurally generated, perhaps. Uh, yeah, that might be it for Biota. I was hoping for a little bit more in the exploration front. We uncovered quite a bit of the map, but it doesn't seem like, um... There was a whole lot here. Otherwise, it just seems like a lot of going to merchants and uh, buying stuff with our Viridium upgrades, etc. So yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw, I encourage you to check it out on Steam. If you liked the video, I encourage you to click that like button. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.